boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, folks, which one should we chase? It is 2, 3 in the morning. Eh, yeah, be, 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 be both of them. This one could have the Rodney in. Most likely it doesn't. So we're gonna chase this one. We're gonna wait half an hour. I'm gonna save and we're gonna go and check out the group up north and then I might load and uh, we're gonna hunt this one if there's no battleship in here. Uh, in real life I would definitely go for the tonnage um, but if there's a battleship that we can sink I want to sink one. Uh, so they made in half an hour they made 8.6 kilometers so they're moving nine knots Ooh. oh that's a fast one that means soil tankers well we're gonna go and check this one first surface the boat just gonna go in and see if uh, there's the, the prize money. No, 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 go there. Is there a wall? Well, <clears throat> get on observation, please. Alrighty, we've uh, seen the funnel smoke. You are 16k. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. It is daytime. Is it only one or is it a huge one? No, these are the same. So these are DDs. One, two, three, four, five. This one being the closest. I can only see the funnels and they all look the same. Uh, stop. Yeah, it is a hunter-killer group, but it could be... What's wrong with the hydrophone? Hold on! Oh! Herr Kaloy, ich habe eine große Gruppe von Schiffen festgestellt. Vermutlich ein Geleitzug. Okay. Herr Kaloy, ich habe eine große Gruppe von Schiffen festgestellt. There is no uh, battleship in this one, for sure. Did I go blind? What? Oh. That's an odd looking DD.
They are all the same. Are the Americans sending help to Churchill? Damn you, Roosevelt. This looks like American ships. Oh boy, we're gonna have to report these to the units. Well, there's a Corvette. So these are Corvettes. Interesting. Well, goodbye, Corvettes. Um, yeah, let's send in the message. If they hear it, they hear it. Goodbye and adieu. Okay, surface the boat. Get the diesel going. We need to get ahead of this one. Um, now, it's gonna take us quite a long time before we manage to catch them. Ooh, uh, it is 6 o'clock in the morning. We're gonna be burning the engines a bit. This is gonna be quite the yacht. We've been burning the engines for two hours. That means if they're moving nine knots. Um, they made, let's say 16K an hour. So nine knots, we've been burning the engines for two hours, so two hours, around between two and three hours. That's 19, that's 38. Okay, we're going fine. Oop! I'll stop, let's see. So 19, 39, 40 kilometers, they should be around somewhere here, somewhere in this area. Spot on! Though they are going a bit further up north, which means they could have changed course at one point, but we are spot on the speed, which means I'm pretty sure there are tankers inside, because it's a fast one. A feisty convoy this time. Hmm, now we don't know, we don't have an exact course, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the point where they are at, and um, when we get here, um, it is 9.24, so 24 past hour, when we get to this point, we're gonna uh, see where they are, um, where their position is, and we're gonna have their course, and we're gonna calculate how fast they're going, again. Unblazen. Now, get the crew ready. Guys need to take a little bit of rest. 9.24, right? 10.24. They will not be far. Let's try not to blow out the engines, because that's going to cost us additional hour or so. Go ding ding! There you go! An hour and a half, approximately. Where are you? Ah, so their course is still the same. So can somebody calculate how much how much time um, is between 9.24 and 11.10? 60 plus 40, that's a hundred minutes. A hundred minutes means 
60 plus 45 ish the distance is 20 kilometers 6 knots 8 plus 11 between 6 and 7 knots so it is a normal convoy then hmm <laughs> it is a normal convoy we do have their course where should we attack from yeah that's that same hunter kill well it might not be the same one but this is the other one oh boy let's hope there's Rodney inside um we are 20 kilometers away from it Well, their course will say is 232.3. We're gonna go around this convoy at around 15k distance because it's daytime. We definitely don't want to spot uh, to be spotted. Surface. Nobody does. No, nobody needs to go to bed. Oh, that's fine. Engage the diesel. Engage the pump. It is. It was eleven. Around eleven o'clock, right? And the convoy was here. So. It makes, if it goes 7 knots, 13 kilometers an hour. We'll say 1 hour. We'll say 2 hours. We'll say 3 hours. We should be ahead of them. Because we're moving twice the speed. Yes, yes, we did spot them. Good, good. Unknown size. Ooh. Sounds interesting to me. Let's see. Aha! The leading DD. <laughs> oh, that's a cruiser. Yeah, exactly. It's a three stacker, and there's another one. It's a county class cruiser. Oh boy, is there a Rodney as well? That is a tower. That is a county class thingy. And it is on our side. Oh my god, where are T1 torpedoes when you need them? Oops. Okay, there is another cruiser. Can you lock? Another county class. There is something escorting it at the back. Seems like a DD as well. Why both of the cruisers are... Oh, look at this. This is an oil tanker. Oh, boy. It's definitely an oil tanker. And it's a big one. Yeah, there's the Nelson. I think there is no Rodney in the game, because there's only Nelson here. Two hundred meters length. Alrighty. Um, where are you? Which one could this be? It's a Dale class. Oh, it's a Dale class. Oh, this is just getting juicier and juicier. That's another um, tower. Five point eight thousand tonner. Ooh, 
boy. That's a bell. 4.5. Ooh, these are all big ships, big fat ones. This is just um, an explorer. 4.4, not bad. And the leading DD. Oh boy. Um, yeah, that's the Dale class. Oh geez, how close are we? We're gonna have to extend this. Yeah, and then start closing in. This is juicy, these three ships, but the problem is we need the tonnage. We need the tonnage. That means letting the cruisers go. The heck we're gonna let them go. Dale class and cruisers. That's five torps if everything goes as planned. We'll have their exact course as well. Two, four, five. Okay, they didn't spot us. They didn't spot us at all. It is noon time. 12.30. We only have two T1 torps. Joe Toy, bugger off back to bed. Captain. Who's in bed? Terrace is in bed, you don't have to be in bed. Go play cards. We'll put Joe Toy to rest. Okay, we're gonna hook in. We're gonna hook in. We've been burning the engines for an hour, which is fine. They should be at around 300-ish, if we'll see the smoke. Yes. Alrighty. We'll see we can... <gasps> Pardon me. We'll see what we can do. In the meantime... The captain's gonna smoke the pipe. We have to make the torpedo plan, the plan of attack. Let's hope they don't change course, which means they're gonna change speed and all that crap. Alarm! In Keine panic. 8.4k. Take a wash. Keep it flooring. So they do have a DD. They do have a DD on the side. Hmm. Well, no problem. Can we stay up on the surface for the next three minutes? Ooh, they're gonna find us.
We definitely cannot. I'm gonna dive down soon. We're gonna have a bit of an issue attacking the cruiser at the the back, you know, the the one at the back. The heck ah it's this one. No. It's this one. We don't have a chance of going all in with a dig gun. <laughs> that would be a bit too dangerous. Okay, 7.3k. Go down to periscope depth. Go sound the alarm. Oh, damn it, I ran out of battery. Vexen of e -motor. Oh, that's a proper time. Auf the road, Tiefe. Alarm! Auf the pitch station! Get the sub ready! To be fair. Lazy buggers. We're up at two minutes. Get yourself the sailors. You go on commanding officer. You go on the keeping, please. I'm gonna refill my little tank here. So let's see. We cannot hear them, but we need to find that DD that we're actually tracking um, before 3 minutes and 15. But we also need to close in as fast as much as possible. We're gonna be firing from afar this time, I mean outside of the convoy. Something's a bit off. I have a feeling he's slowing down. Hmm. Is there another group? No. Okay, it is seven knots. Gotcha now. Their course is two four four. This is our primary target, which means we're gonna have to sink this one too. Okay, let's set this up. We want to be two and a half kilometers away from this DD. So they won't hear us. how they are spaced out. 
TV again, going for gin and tonic, mate. It says it's a freighter. That's not right. Okay, that's a cruiser. Captain, some of the crew says we should adopt predator rules. It's not fair if they don't see us coming. Let's shoot the dig gun at them before dying. <laughs> I did try to fight the Dido class once and um, <clears throat> it didn't go well. Do you know that I got shot at from a distance of 20 kilometers? They were still firing at us. <laughs> and uh, the um, number of shells that were flying in, we were being bracketed. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. Now this is definitely our main prize here. Definitely our main prize. Uh, so two, four, five, oh, oh. Okie doke. We we'll still have a long distance to close in. We'll have a very long distance to close in. But I would like to take the first shots before they actually know we're there. have three T1s. I'm thinking what I'm gonna be reloading and it's really gonna be hard because um, we're only gonna have two, I mean T2 Torps. And this is gonna be a freaking far away target. four five ish oh, come on that's already too far to hit we might even have to go in and just do the carnage we could also do sneak down by the bottom hmm what if we would try and sneak in through the bottom I mean down at the bottom Well, actually, this is more precise. Huh. Okay, we're fine. We're going. We're on course. But we're not close enough to dive down and wait. Damn it, I would really like to get the first salvos off before they know we're here. As soon as Didi comes to 90 degrees, we're gonna start closing in. And then we're gonna take it from there. 
that's the plan. You guys will have to hold the sausages. The problem with this DD that's in front, they do have the sonar equipment. It's an EF DD. Yeah, yeah. All is good. Okay, that's why they are leading, because they are sweeping. Okay, we're gonna make a stop and then we're gonna start moving in as soon as they're 90 degrees we're gonna start preheating moving in and uh, we're gonna gun for this ship for the Dale class which is gonna be very far away oops So we must not get discovered before they actually, uh, before we take the shot, because it's gonna be a, an inaccurate shot. Alrighty, somebody call the captain. Is the crew ready? Ship Schrauben. Are there more shift Schrauben? Oh, there's another small group. Okay. I would really like to find that freaking Rodney. Okay, start moving in. Ooh, all right, let's see if we can see anything else. That's another EF. So yeah, these are the sweeping DDs. Okay, that's a tower. We did um, recognize that one before, probably. Yeah, look at that. This is a juicy target. Oh my god, would this be nice to hit. We could use a T1. We could use a T1 at a very freaking long range. We'll see. That's a bell. You are a tower. You are the Dale. This one's worth two or three ships. Yeah, I don't know why we um, identify them and they are not identified. I know that uh, people were talking about when the shifts change on the submarine, uh, that's when, you know, the ships kinda lose, I mean the crew kinda forgets what you identified. Alrighty, Empire Bell. County class, baby. What if we really use a T1 Torp and gun for her? Because this is a juicy one. 
This really is a juicy one. That means we need to take a shot straight away, more or less now. Four and a half, K. Okay. That's five K. Five points, two K. Too far away, we're gonna miss. We're gonna miss. Stella, Stella. It's almost a straight shot. It's too f Oh my god, I forgot. Fucked up. It's the one for preheating. No, it's labor. Why do I always forget? This is the mechanic. Yeah, it's labor. Viba. Oh, verdammt. Which one are we preheating now? Tube 3. That one. Seventy five with four and a half. We're gonna take the shot. We have to try. 75. 74. Auf it's almost gonna go straight. The distance keeping keep changing. Four point five. Four point three. At eighty two. Eighty two. Four point three. Los! 
Where is the Dale class? It's fine. Los! Angle is also fine. Schneller, schneller! Nobody. Ah, it's the same tube. I should fire this, the other tube. Let's hope we manage to hit both. Captain. Could go completely wrong. We will most likely hit this one. Uh, which means we're gonna miss this one. Because uh, they're gonna hold the brakes stop. Um, well, they're gonna jump on the brakes, slow down, and then torpedo's gonna miss. This one's actually the angle, something is off. It should go straight, more straight. Now we'll see what happens. Put another T2 in. Let's hope we don't hit this one. But I don't know why. The torpedo should go f further to the left, both should go further to the left, so I don't know what the heck. Was I aiming at this one maybe? They're too slow, both are too slow. This torpedo should be here, so I don't know what the heck's going on today with my aiming. Yeah, we've hit that one. We've hit the one in the front. The one ship that we did not want to hit. This one's a miss. There is no freaking other way. Though they did slow down now. Let's hope the fires keep spreading. How lucky can you be? It was a bad shot. She's not gonna go down. I'm gonna go nuts. This one's a miss. Fuck me. I really don't know what's up. Maybe their speed was different, but it can't be. I mean, it is different now. Okay, they are abandoning the boat. At least something. I admit I don't know what's wrong with me today. I am a bit tired, but it doesn't matter. I should freaking aim the right way. 
Stop tracking. Oh, I know what's wrong. Oh, I so hate that. I know what's wrong. Yeah, okay, fine. F it. Let's hope they don't pick us up. They did definitely slow it down, so before they speed up, we're gonna try and close in the distance. Ah, god damn it. You know, I look at the number down 30, ah, okay, fine, because I always set it to 30. Especially for longer shots. But this time, it was still from the mission before. You know, the TDC was still from the mission yeah, level before, it did not reset. <laughs> Let's hope we manage to close the distance. We could even go for this poor ship. Four and a half thousand tanners. Oh boy, sorry about me playing like crap today. We have not been pinged yet. <clears throat> so all is fine for now. What if we take a magnet? We're gonna take a magnetic shot at this one. And then a T1 at her. But we have to start tracking her um, speed. Yeah, she they definitely jumped on the brakes big time. You're gonna see our scope. We also have to take the shot, otherwise we're gonna hit this one again. Ah, crap, I forgot. One minute. Stella, Stella. 2.8k. God damn it, this is gonna be another problem. We won't be able to take the shot. Yeah, we have to take it now. We don't know the speed, we still have to wait for another minute. We have to calculate the angle from behind the freaking ship to us eight degrees. That's how much the torpedoes can go to the right before we hit this ship. 
So if it's not gonna be in line, we won't be able to take the shot. Yeah, we won't be able to take the shot. God damn it. This ship's gonna be in the way. Four point seven, we're talking five knots. We'll say eighty at two point one. 80, 2.1, it's a straight shot now, if we send one at 44 knots, that's gonna work out, T1, Five and uh, five knots. Forty-four Dos. speed on the torp. Seventy-eight, four hundred meters. We'll say six knots. Six and a half. Los! This one's looking good. She's gonna get hit first. Let's hope we set this one on fire. Okay, that was a bust. Good shot. Yes. Close the air class. Good, 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 Kameraden. How's she doing? She's doing way too good. Not stop. We cannot hit this one anymore. Yeah, there's the Dale class. Captain, to be fair, Dingle Dale or Dongle Dale. Yeah, she's just steaming along. The DDs are soon gonna pick us up. God damn it. They will soon force us under the water. Angle is not okay. Seventy-one. 
How long is the ship? Two hundred meters in a minute. Six, seven knots. Seventy five and not high nine hundred. Take a shot at her. Oh my god, are they moving slower? They've slowed down. Oh my god, is I'm gonna go nuts. I'm gonna go nuts. They slow down, bastards. This really sucks. 800 meters at 81, 800 meters at 86. Everything. Yeah, okay, fine. Everything is going wrong today. Five knots. Take the shot. Oh, we hit something. What the heck was there? Herr Kaloy? Ei, ei, Herr Kaloy. She slowed down to a freaking crawl. Was that the Dale class? <laughs> oh my god, I hit the life rep. Let's hope she burns, god dang it. There's still one, but we won't be able to catch her. At this point, this attack has completely fizzled out. I was hoping we we're gonna sink this one with these two torps, move in, maybe attack this one with an aft torpedo tube. But this is just turning into a nightmare for us. She's gonna go down. This one's too far away, we won't be able to hit a damn thing. We still don't know where we could be. So we could just dive down and hunker down. My god, we need the milk cows. We need the milk cows. Is it tits? Tits can preheat, Weber can reload. Okay, they're gonna sniff us out. That one is sinking. Thirty knots. We'll never hit it. It's too far away. It's way too far away. 2.1k 
2.1k at 109. We don't have the speed. We have no idea how far she's going. And we have to be precise on this shot to hit it. Attack today. They're gonna get to us. Well, we're gonna wait. She's also evading a bit. Two hundred and ten meters, seven knots. One sixteen and one point nine. Ich habe eine große Gruppe von Schiffen festgestellt. One sixteen. One point nine. Los! Rohr drei. Wir bessern. Rohr drei. Los! You guys are gonna have to keep your fingers crossed now. That's our only chance. We're gonna dive down soon. Captain. Bewegung. I do not plan on uh, firing any more torps because this is kind of a disaster. Disaster already. Well, I did think um, a cruiser with one torp and I hit it straight in the nose. At the tip of the ship, I missed somehow, and it hit the tip of the ship. Uh, but it was the small uh, cruiser, the Dido class. And the poor buggers just sank. But yeah, today... Today ain't my day. Happy times, they say. My ass, I say. <laughs> yeah, I hope they will detonate. I didn't set the magnetics on. It's too long of a shot. They might go off. So we're just gonna... Hope for the best. That one slowed down, the first one, the one that we've missed definitely slowed down. The first one should hit by now. Yes. There goes the lifeboat. Should be the more or less the same spot. Oh, run down. At least something. At least something. I mean, we've sank what we intended to sink, but uh, at a cost of two, way too many torpedoes. And we've committed a war crime. Where is Alison? <laughs> we've, 
<laughs> Accidentally torpedo the lifeboat. Now look at this. I kind of parked her close to this ship. Oh, hello, mateys. So we can dive beneath it and um, hide. Suffolk. Well, you go and suffer. This one surprised me. They got hit straight in the middle. And they didn't even fart. Oh, they did? Are they deeper in the water? Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, this is where we hit it. Yeah, you can see the the black. Um, this is where we hit it. Straight in the middle. She is limping. Yes. Okay, not that bad. But god damn it, too many torps. We've used up too many torps. We still have three. Can we do anything? Oh, okay. I was hoping I'm gonna be able to jump in fast enough that I would uh, rear torpedo the Kenor dock. They're gonna pick us up now. They will definitely F us up. Um, so I want to get close. We're gonna dive down beneath the poor ship. They should be at around 200, 220. At least this DD. Yeah, spot on. Alrighty, Herr Capitan, Herr Cologne, scope down. Take her down to, let's say, 30. Yeah, it won't go down. They should probably be, I mean, they would probably be abandoning the boat by now. It seems like there's no damage. Now let's hope. The heck is direct to balloons? Okay, the ship is right there. Now we only are at 30 meters depth. Why cannot I put the captain up on the... It's also... Strange. I cannot put him on the command station. Do nothing. Oh, we might get into trouble here. Do 
Maybe I need to dive deeper, but they've definitely uh, located us. I'm gonna go and grab a new drink. And if they start um, depth charging, start screaming. <laughs> For me, there's holidays tomorrow because uh, I need to uh, cool off my brains a bit. I couldn't concentrate today for the hell of me, I mean, for the life of me. So, I'm gonna have a short little two time while we try and survive this one. Maybe we should dive down a bit deeper, but I'm trying to stay close to the ship because they're gonna have a harder time picking us up. Yep, they are angry. Who's depth charging? They are depth charging. Look at that. Oh my god. Poor this guy. <laughs> oh, they got hit by a torpedo. Look at them. Scattered all over the place. Or splattered all over the place. And now they're being depth charged. <laughs> Friendly fire. <laughs> Oops, lads. Oh my god, they must be screaming, you goddamn Muppets! <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, I had a bit of a tough time today with uh, concentrating. This guy is definitely onto something. Uh, with concentrating in-game. Um, you should be on the depth keeping. Now he can go to the command station. Hey, there are a million voices! <laughs> Welcome to the sub, mate. Sorry about my poor performance today, attacking this con. Well, we've missed torpedoes, usually we don't miss. Or it's, it, 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 it's extremely rare that I miss with torps. But uh, today is just, um, it was just a bit too busy at work. And um, I'm free tomorrow, so I guess my brains just uh, stopped working. And I've been uh, doing stupid mistakes. Yeah, I kind of hate it anyway, but okay, it's fine. They are uh, on to us. But it, I'm not worried about these guys, they are the dangerous ones. Mm -hmm. Hold your titties. Hey there, Seneca! <laughs> yeah, I really made some stupid ones today. We might get effed here, boys. Pushing luck a bit. But they definitely don't know 
if we move or not you can see they're here so that means they will miss the whole pattern they will miss I think that's the sheep yeah it's getting close but we should be fine Where's the sunken sheep at? I mean the sunken sheep at. Where's the wreck at? Ooh, they definitely are pieced. Let's see if we can use the external camera. Ooh, yep. Did you see the charges? Oh, cause we cannot hear them. We cannot see them either, but you can see the depth charges. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Holy boy, that's loud. <laughs> We're fine, camarade, and we tricked them. The problem is there's one more DD. There's one more DD. That's why I moved forward a bit, because there's a ship behind us and that DD was going straight for us, so they will not be able to get us. Yeah, we've, we've actually raided a port. The Belfast Harbor, we were in Belfast today, we actually got... Um, yeah, this one was going that way, but it turned around. So Belfast Harbor, we moved, I mean, we um, got the spy in there. But then we had to create a diversion. And we went straight into the port. And something was off with, five, with me firing the torps. I was aiming at four destroyers at once. And as soon as I fired the first torpedo, I knew something's wrong and I couldn't figure out what the heck was wrong. But uh, we managed to get out. We've sank one single DD. We've hit three or two, at least two torps. Uh, but we did manage to get out without them uh, even spotting us. Yeah, they are not sure what's uh, down there. So we're gonna stay quiet. And let's hope they don't drop, because this might be a problem now. <laughs> They're straight above us. They're somewhere here. Well, we should see it now. Let's see if we can see the cam um, the ship. Yep. Hello, mateys. Oh, they can smell us. Yeah, you know what? It's the first mission for Happy Time, Seneca. And the DDs and the enemies are actually still utter noobs. We're gonna be in some serious trouble later on. What I usually try to do is cripple a ship so we can hide beneath it, <laughs> especially in the Atlantic. That's, that's definitely the most welcome torpedo shot, I mean torpedo hit if you manage to just cripple the ship, like uh, this one. Okay, I think we're fine. Let's open the bulkheads. Let's hope we don't have squeaky doors. Spend, uh, I mean, I just um, get some time through. We'll see if they, yeah, they lost us. Maybe they will pick us up again. Uh, these two are dangerous. This one's not. So let's hope he doesn't sniff us out. She's drifting. 
or maybe we are drifting. Oh, there was another DD I didn't even know about. But I guess the left is uh, off the hook. Hmm. Schiffsschrauben direkt über uns, Herr Kaloy. Then we are drifting. Oh, then let's go. Oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> we are making donuts, guys. Alrighty, that's fine. Whoop. Uh, stop. By the machine is stop. Let's give him some time to get away. Now, are we... Well, we can uh, surface the boat, no problem. I'm also gonna turn off the alarm. Oh my god, we had the heater on. Oh boy, they did rattle our sausages a bit. But we did not panic under pressure. <laughs> Though probably the toilets are gonna be full now as soon as we surface the boat. Yeah, look at them. They're all rushing to the toilet. <laughs> well, not me. I'm gonna go up on the Shriek gun and blast them apart. Oh my god. The toilets are gonna be full for the next uh, seven hours or something like that. At least, at least for the next shift. Okay, let's turn the diesel and the lights back on. Teras, stop slacking. Oh, we, did we have the gyro on as well? Talking about stupid mistakes. Well, let's send one up the nose. Come on, salty water. That should do it. Yeah, we're not gonna waste any ammo unnecessarily. Oh, hell yeah. Alrighty. Is there anything that's still off? The booze lounge is off. No, it's on. Did I only turn off like one thing? Well, we did think what was important. There was another convoy down here. 